guys welcome back to the channel it's Tricia and I have been inspired to make some wall art this is a really cool project that only requires a couple of things and I think this is very inexpensive and very interesting so if you're interested in seeing how I did it keep watching so the first thing that you'll need is this sponge brush that you can pick up from the Dollar Tree or any craft store that's near you You'll also need some tacky glue or Elmer's glue, whichever you prefer. I decided to use this one because it came from the Dollar Tree. And you will need some paper, so that could be magazine paper. I chose to use a gift bag. I like to use a gift bag because it has a lot of texture on it. You can also use gift wrap paper, anything that you may have at home that you don't need anymore. Also, you will need a picture frame. The one that I chose is from Ikea and it has a plexiglass front, but if you don't have one, don't worry about it. You can use glass for this project also. So the first thing you want to do is remove the frame contents. The only thing that should be out is your plexiglass or glass piece. If you have a plexiglass, you want to remove the film on just one side of it. Next, flip it over so that the side with the film is facing on top. If you have glass, you don't need to do this. Now it's time to draw your design. So you can do anything that you have in mind. I decided to draw out a flower. I am not the best artist, but I, you know, I hold my own. And don't feel like you have to be an artist too. Just take your um, phone, which I'm going to do, I'm gonna show you. I'm using my phone and I went on Pinterest and I just looked at something that I really liked and I'm going to try to mimic it. And I forgot to mention when you are drawing make sure you're using an erasable marker. Now that we've finished, we want to protect it by putting a sheet of paper on top and flipping it over. The next step is to cut your paper into pieces. I decided to use gift bags, so what I'm gonna do is just cut it up. You can cut it into small pieces or large pieces. It's completely up to you, but please note the smaller pieces will take you much longer. Afterwards, you wanna take a small container and Pour in a little bit of glue and mix it with some water. You want a thin consistency. Now we're ready to glue the paper to the glass. So I'm just going to apply a small amount of glue in a section and place the paper on top. I found that it was better to wet the pieces of paper with the glue first and then press it onto the glass. Before I started putting the pieces down, I kind of got an idea of where I wanted what color. So on the outside of the flower, I wanted it to be white and then the inside I wanted to alternate two different colors. The paper that I used on the inside is a little bit thicker so it started to curl which I really loved because it gave it more texture. While the glue dried, I went outside and painted my backing a black color. This step is completely optional. You could choose to glue on some magazine paper that is the color of your choice. There are so many things that you can do or you can just leave the backing just how it is. After the paint dried, I added the contents back to the frame. Starting with the plexiglass or glass, you wanna make sure to remove the film on the back of the plexiglass. Add in any additional inserts in the backing. And that's it. You just made a beautiful piece of art. Thanks guys for watching. Make sure you check out all of my videos and hit that subscribe button. If you like what I did, hit the like button too and share it with everyone. If you're on Instagram or Facebook, please be sure to stop by and say hello. I'm at Designs by Tricia on Instagram and at I'm Tricia J.A. on Facebook.